Hello fellow crafters, I'm going to do a quick video on how to install a font into your Windows computer for use with Design Space. Uh, this is going to be on Windows 10 using Internet Explorer. The steps will be the same for any browser. You just might have a couple of different ways to get to your downloaded files and I'll talk about those and possibly do videos for other browsers specifically if necessary. So I'm starting at Makers Gonna Learn, which is a membership site that I'm a member of. That's a great die cutting community and with lots of uh, cut files and fonts to work with. So we're going to go ahead and pop into the fonts area. I'm doing this real time, so it's a little bit slow. And we're going to scroll through and just kind of pick one at random that I've not done yet. And I think uh, we'll do this one, a little fancy fancy today. So you have a couple buttons you can click on. The quickest way to do this is just click directly on the cloud icon which should start the download. And on Windows 10 with Internet Explorer, you get this message here that asks you if you want to open or save it, and we're going to go ahead and save it. If your browser asks you anything about opening or saving, you want to choose save. It's a quick download, and now we have an opportunity to either open again, open folder, or view downloads. Since we have to do some prep work, we don't want to actually open the file, so we want to just open the folder that it went to. So I'm going to click on open folder, but then I'm going to also show you how to get to it if you didn't quite get that process in whatever browser you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and close this so we can get back to it in a second. And on Windows 10, you should have this thing down here called uh, the File Explorer. It looks like a little uh, yellow envelope there. And if you click on that, you'll get to go to all your files. And on the left, you should have one called Downloads. And inside of there is where 99% of browsers, unless you've made some changes to your system, will download things. So here we go. I'm going to... Uh, We've got one I just did a little while ago to test this out, but we're going to look at Fancy Pants here. And you'll notice that it is a yellow folder with a zipper on it, which indicates it's a compressed folder. And we have to do a couple things to this file before we can actually use it. So Windows 10 actually makes it very easy. Um, I'm just going to click on it once so it gets highlighted. And you'll notice that up here we have uh, a new button called Extract in pink. And that comes up whenever you select a zip folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Extract. And then you have a couple options in here, and we're just going to do this all with default options. We're using the extract all here. And then from there, it asks you where you want to extract the stuff, and we're just going to keep it where it says. And we're going to also keep this thing checked that says show extracted files when complete. And it's going to go very fast because they're really small files. So once you click extract, you'll see it kind of pops away, and then the new folder will pop right up in front of you. And what you should see here is the logo or the uh, font file or design file, whatever it is you downloaded, you should see that and it no longer has a zipper on it. It's not a yellow folder icon. And if you hover over it, it kind of tells you what its title is and such. And it tells you a type of open type font. So you can tell it by hovering over it what it is that you're actually looking at. And this is the point we need to get to is extracting the files that you've downloaded and getting to this point where you see the actual file that has the font. So at this point, um, you'll notice I do not have Design Space open, and that is because when you install a font, any open program will have to be reopened in order for that font to show up. So the best thing I can suggest is to just start without Design Space open, install all of your fonts you're looking for, and then go into Design Space. Because either way, if you had Design Space open at this point, you would have to close it and then reopen it in order to even see the font. So again, Windows 10 actually makes this pretty easy. All we got to do is double click on the font name and you'll see this come up which shows you a preview of all the possible characters in that font and there's a button up here called install. And if you click on install, it'll take just a couple seconds and then it goes away because it's not installable anymore because you've just installed it. So now we have it installed and we can close some of these windows here. So I'll just close all of these and now I'm going to go ahead and minimize my Internet Explorer and pop into Design Space. So the new offline version of Design Space, which has actually for me been pretty good. I know people have had some issues with it, but luckily for me, it's not been an issue. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start up a new project here. And once you're in the project, we all know you go over here to text and we start typing. And then to change the font, you go up here and I find it easy to search for things. And so you can see before I had Fixin in there, so that's still there. And we just installed Fancy Pants. And here it is down here, fancy fancy. And I can select it and there it is. So inside of Windows 10, uh, it's a, a few steps of a process, but it is rather quick. 
you simply download the font, unzip the font, and then you can install it. So again, if I go into my file explorer and I look for downloads, you'll see I have two versions, right? I've got the ones that the, or the zip files that have the actual uh, zipper on the icon. And then I have the ones that I did unzip, which do not have the zipper. And these are the folders that contain the font. So when you see the yellow icon, it's a folder. So I have to go into the folder and that's where my font file is that I can double click, see the preview and then install it. Hope this helps you get those fonts installed. And if you need additional videos for different uh, browsers or other issues, feel free to let me know.